Welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the best apps of the week. So let's do it to it. And for the best live wallpaper of the week, it is called 500 Fire Paper. Normal, little picture there, but tap it with three fingers and you can change the photo that are an HD quality. Go into your categories, you can see you got lots to choose from and you can actually choose nudies and you can do the update interval so every 15 minutes a new picture comes up or less or more. Definitely go try it for yourself. Here next we have C Locker. Now I'm turning off the lock screen and unlocking and you will see that this is not my stock locker. But if you pay attention down here I got an arrow where I can drag up and I got notifications or touch right here but I can change all these and I can just pop lock and drop it on one and it'll open up but now let's bring this up and you will see all my missed calls. Go to my SMS and go to all my Gmail and I can jump right into them. And for the text messages you can just hold on to it and drag in and drag in and it'll go right to them. The lock is pretty cool. You can get tips in here and it's not hard to understand. Go try it out for yourself. Here next we have knock lock. It's something very simple as just turning off your device without having to hit your power. Right under this folder I have set it right here and then locked my screen. Now I can be in any application and always double tap right there and it'll turn off. When you first have this application, you can have it actually, whenever you tap the status bar, it'll turn off. Very simple to do, you can see that's where I have it at. If you wanna tap on the status bar, like say in the middle, click on this, save the settings, double tap, and it's off. You know what to do. Here next we have slide control. See this little tab here? You can barely see it, but if I tap on it, it's going to bring up all the recent applications that I've opened up. And I can jump right into them. Click on it again. It's just like your recent tab so you know you're going to be easily able to jump into it. Now if I double tap, it goes to the last app I was in. Double tap again. It'll cycle through the apps. So you don't even have to think about it. You just go into the next ones. Now you have a gesture where you can bring out. And now you got your shortcuts. But if I bring out even longer then I get different shortcuts. You can set these to whatever you like. Now we go in the settings, all the stuff that you can change, open certain applications. And if I don't want it to be there, I can actually hold down onto it and move it somewhere else on a different spot. So you can change the icon, the layout, the size. You can do halo mode like this. You get a little widget type of look over what you were doing. You can, I think you'll like it, so go try it out for yourself. Here next, we have Impala. This application is kind of freaky how accurate it is. It will scan through all your pictures and actually categorize it by what it pays attention to you. Just imagine Google goggles, how it can recognize people, cars, items, sceneries. It'll categorize it all for you. There's the outdoor, all my outdoor photos, actually gather them in indoor cars. And you will see your friends with a group of people, men, mountains, food, items. So you know, even more categories will come out depending on what photos you have. Very cool. And you will see where it tags itself. Going to the actual camera. If you take a picture lively, it'll tell you what it's looking at. So go try it out for yourself. Here next, we have Text Blast. This is for the people who love to group text. I just selected one person there. That's like actually full contact. That's another contact. Another contact. And I'm going to admit that I hate getting group messages that is not sent directly to me. But this is the best part. Since I have six people selected here, are you enjoying the weather today? And up here... All I have to do is push this at and at blast is the keyword and send individually each person with their name so that they can see that I sent it directly to them instead of to a group message. At blast is going to replace itself with a name. So it's going to be Edgar. Are you enjoying the weather today? I'm going to press send. Blast sent. There is a the message. Alberto, are you enjoying the weather today? <laughs> he responded with yeah. Nob, are you enjoying the weather today? He said yes. See, he doesn't know that I sent that to everybody. This application is pretty cool, so go try it out for yourself. Here next we have CalQ. This is a clean, simple calculator with gestures that hopefully has everything you would need for it. You can reset as an individually, add more here. You can oh, operator. You got more to choose from. Go to the constant and you can do the built-in stuff. And then go into the auto, which actually auto generalizes everything. But if I go up here, you will see the calculations that I made for fun. In case you wanted to go back to it, dismiss them as in delete them. Looks really good when you start typing it. Go into the settings. You have different themes you can choose from. 
to see what you like best. I just wanted to bring it to your attention to see maybe if you want a different unique type of calculator, so go try it for yourself. Next up, we have Fire Chat. Now this application is supposed to text people without having internet connection. So how is that possible? You don't need a network? Well, the way this works is through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, which is the reception within the area of the range. Just imagine like a Bluetooth headset where you have to be within an area to receive, you know, calls. This is just a Wi-Fi chatting service. But if you go to the nearby, if you go camping or you're in absolutely no service whatsoever, the other person has to have this application. You can't just randomly text a number. But the fact is that you'll be able to communicate through here. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have time to really test it for myself. So if you guys have more friends than this loser, tell me in the comments if it actually works pretty cool concept i want to see what types of uses you can get out of this so go try it out for yourself next up we have newsbeat your personal news radio is about to start we have 41 stories for you this morning here is your traffic update temperature outside is 57 degrees with a high of 66 degrees and a low of 52 degrees every time i start this application and greets me with my information that i need it's going to show me the weather the traffic and how much news I will get. You know, your own news here that you can go through. It'll read it all out loud to you. Man due to be cleared of 1989 NYC murder. You'll get it read in male voice and female. You could turn the screen off, of course. The attorney said they anticipate this application is pretty cool. So try it for yourself. And last but not least, we have Inspire Launcher. Now this launcher reminds me of the Google Now launcher because it has big icons. But the thing is that you get to add effects to it, animation. You're more customized in this application. Clicking on this, you will see there's a sorting. You can go to the settings, go application drawer. You can do the side panel, background, opacity, save last page grid size, blah, 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 blah. The animation, gestures, doc, folders, theme. So if I go all the way to the right and drag out, you will see that I can actually make into categories my favorite apps, like go into my roots. It'll go into all my rooted applications. Go into the TV, TV applications. I can go to add a category, press OK, and go to manage applications. And then in here, just start picking them and adding them and it'll be there. Press this, you're done. Now let's go to like this video and they're there. And you can of course add widgets, but if you go to the left side, you'll get your Google Now. Instead of having to click on anything, you can just go to the next left side of the page. Something new, I just wanted to bring that offering. And there you guys have it. These were the best apps of the week right up Google Play brought to you by me, the cool loser. And as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to spread the word. In other news, I'm getting my Nexus 5 today. I'm so excited to replace my Galaxy S4 because I'm simply a Nexus guy and I'm ready to come back. I'll make a video explaining why I did it. Until next time, unboxing video, tell my YouTube followers why what I got. See ya. Later.